We are pumped up, we are ready to go. We have got a heap of fish. I made the mistake of looking at the invoices beforehand and I don't know what I was thinking with a couple of these fish, but hey, you know, it should be exciting to say the least because we have a heap of fish going on in here. Okay, we've got loads of good size electric yellows. When I say loads, I mean we have got loads. Loads, loads, loads. Some of them are a little bit smaller, but we have got plenty still to choose from there as well. There we go, more there Brent, and you know those. So I think I've got maybe 15 or 13 or as many as they can get on these ones here. So they're gonna, we're gonna have a big tank of these and then we're going to, that one's a little bit barry. Mm. And then we're going to um, chuck most of them in our big display there. That's got, we're not really to display our bigger tank for sale there as well. So there we go, more yellows, more yellows, more yellows. More yellows, more yellows. Here, Isa, you can have some yellows as well. Okay, that one, I don't know. I think they've sent us bloody hybrids, but look at it. You're not supposed to have a blue face. That's disappointing. Uh, that's the problem with Africans sometimes. They just send you a little bit. How you going? Some look really good and some just look like they've just got something else going on in there. Well, we'll see what happens with those once we get them. A bit of a uh, color enhancing aquamunch food on there. So you can see that's my uh, gel food there that we've made up. So I've been uh, making up a fair bit of this one. It's been going quite well. I mean, you know, I'm getting better at it. Don't drop it on your floor. It's very hard to clean up once you do that. It gets very uh, messy. Okay, nice little discus there. So I think it was like a yellow turquoise, uh, yellow snake skin. It had yellow in the name. I know it had yellow. So that's something. Okay. Adios. Let's see what we got in this next do whacker. Pretty big as well. So I think we're going to have some more. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Mm. That is a nice, nice, nice one there as well. So we have that and we have some white diamond ones. That one doesn't look as pretty. He looks a bit tattered on his fins. Hopefully he settles down. Um, we have got lots of discus. This one I think we're getting out of discus. For some reason, someone, namely me, decides to order a heap more discus in. So, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. But that's all right. Add a bit more action to those tanks there as well. So yeah, we've got plenty in there at the moment. So it looks like we've got at least 10, 12, maybe 15. They keep on, I just keep pulling them out. And so they've got some white diamonds on there. I haven't checked the invoices on there. Um, yeah, we've got a few different varieties on there as well. Okay, another one that we've got here, which is looking really good, is the albino pindami or the uh, snow white cichlid. So these guys, the males, uh, when they're not albino, they are a solid blue color. Um, when they are albino, they do get a blue sheen to them for the male, Ooh, the ma as, a, as a dominant male. They do look pretty cool there as well. Okay, just your common old pleco. So these are the big ones. These ones get pretty big in the tank. Um, they're on the cheaper side of things when it comes to placos, um, but yeah, we've got loads of those to choose from. I think we've got about 30 of them in this week there as well, so that should keep us going for a fair while. Have a good look at that one there. Very pretty. Very nice little discus. Okay, now we have a tetra. Tetras are very hard to identify when they're straight out of the bag. I'm going to say Pristilla. I think that's a Pristilla tetra. So that's them. And then we have... Pristilla Tetras, <laughs> or maybe these are lemon, maybe the other ones were lemon Tetras. So I think they could be lemon, I don't know. So we'll find out when we get them sorted out. Yeah, when they come in, when they come out of the bags, they can be a little bit, uh, obviously they've been in the dark in the box there as well. So it takes a bit from the color up. I know these ones, but they're your black phantom Tetras. They're an easy one. They will color up a lot more black. Um, they get like a red anal fin on there. It look really good. Some of these discus look really good, but beautiful fish. Beautiful colors on there. Looking nice, nice and healthy. They don't look too sooky. So looking happy. So more of these albino pindanis. So we've got a few of these. These guys will be doing the exact same as we, the um, other Africans where they'll be kind of going into one of our smaller tanks while we feed them, worm them, look after them before we go chuck them in our big tank. Because we've made the mistake of doing that before. And it is pretty bad when you do, I mean, we've really been trying to not uh, cross contaminate the tanks and stuff like that. Try and be a bit more disciplined in the shop here. Um, something that everyone should practice. Try and make sure that your fish are look, looked after that you've got them settled in your tank. So we've been trying to uh, just enforce our rules a bit harder on each other as well. So that includes me, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm, I definitely break the rules as well sometimes. Okay. 
So these ones are L600s or Red Cactus Plecos. So these ones are a little bit cheaper than the other ones that we had in there, but obviously they're a little bit smaller there as well. But yes, and for some reason, I ordered 10 of them. <laughs> so that's a lot of them. So gonna look cool. Um, stress levels just went up another notch, but that should be fun. So we have a bigger ones and we have a smaller one. So come down and get some there as well. So these are local bread, well locally bred. They're from our breeders down at Fish Fanatics there. So either they're breeding them or they've got someone breeding them, but they're not imported, which generally means they will be, they are definitely healthier. No worms, no like pond growing. They're just a little bit, little bit more looked after. Okay, more of these albino pindanis, albino pindanis, albino pindanis. I should say like snow white cichlid because that sounds like way nicer. Okay, and then we have more of the common plecos. So pleco season is definitely on there. Well, they've bred in summertime, springtime, summertime, and now we're getting to the age where they're actually being sold. So there is a fair few plecos coming in there as well, and they will just increase inside before they disappear altogether. Okay, we have a silver tip tetra. There we go. It took me a little bit. You can generally tell those guys because they've got the little spots at the end of the fin and that kind of gives you gives it away a little bit there. Okay, these ones here are your couple more Frederick Salicai or yellow jackets. So, or uh, I don't know what the new name is there. But yeah, cool little cichlid. Um, got three of those today. Only because Brent said he needs two of them in his life. Because he likes psychos. But that's all right. We're all a little bit psycho. Uh, black phantom tetras, so just another bag of those ones there. That's looking good. Let's see what else we got rocking in these ones here. Okay. Okay, these ones are going to be Crimson Tide Rainbows. So again, these are being bred. Now these are from Fish Fanatics, so they're pretty good. Um, I do like the rainbows. Um, I've got the lot in my pond at home at the moment. I did set up like a bit of a solar lamp on my pond to come on at night time, and like I've got it pointed out there, all the bugs congregate there, and these guys just whip them up all the time. So it's been really cool to watch them really active at night time. Uh, these are your Julii Corydoras. Um, cute little Corys. Corys. Corys are cute. They're always cute. I think our black Venezuelans were just gorging on themselves before on some of the gel food there as well. So, yeah, such a, such a cute little catfish. You can see why they're so popular. But in saying that, give me an L600 any day of the week. Um, Black Angels. So, looking good. And then we have some, I'm gonna say blue sapphires. They will color up a lot more once they get settled. Again, that nighttime trip where this is like the first light they've seen for uh, probably 24 hours. They, they get a little bit different. So these ones here are your pairs of Neon blonde and Leguppies. So we have males and females on those. So they're going to look fantastic. So I'm just going to handball this over to Brent to go and find as many tanks as he can. Um, mate, I'm pretty sure we also have some pairs of Black Moscow Guppies coming in as well in one of the other shipments today. Because we have two more shipments on the way, one more tomorrow. So we are going to be loaded. Okay, Bronze Corridorus, looking good. Doing their thing. Being Bronze Corridorus and Albino Corridorus, being very similar to Bronze Corridorus, but a little bit more Albino-ish. Um, I think they're Albino Peppered, actually. I don't think they're Bronzes. I'm not too sure anymore. They look so, like Albino is such a tough one because it just like washes all the colors on there and they're not gonna show any patterns until they are bigger as well. Okay, Cynodontus Petricolas. So, cool little catfish. Again, we sell loads of these. They are very tough, very hardy, very cool fish. Come down and get your Petric holders. Right, we got a couple of big boxes going on here still. I think this is still from Fish Fanatics. Yep, definitely is still from Fish Fanatics. So we have some more male guppies there. So these ones have definitely got some nice tails on there. So these ones are going to be local bred. So if you are looking for them in the shop, they will not be over with our guppy system because that's where we put our imported guppies. These ones will go a little bit different. Sometimes you just got to be a little bit careful on those ones there as well. Uh, and then these ones there, they look pretty good. Um, bit of a mixture, I'm not too sure what we got. I'll have to check the invoice to see what we're actually cooking with with these ones. But, so, more Africans, because, you know, I've got to stress the boys out even more. I'm trying to find. Manganos, cool cichlid, a little bit aggro. Not too bad, one in there looks rubbish. We'll see how, they, see how the others ones fare. 
Yeah, no. These little Bolivian butterflies, we haven't ordered Bolivians in ages because we did have heaps of them. And I tell you, there's a big size difference between what we had and what these ones are there as well. Ooh. So we must be doing something right to feed them and keep them alive. But in saying that, Bolivian butterflies are bloody easy to look after as well. So if you're having trouble with your fish, Bolivian butterflies, they're pretty bulletproof. If you are having trouble with your Bolivian butterflies, definitely come and have a chat to us again. We were going to do, doing something wrong. Okay, oh, we've got a floater there. That's always not good. Um, looks like it's been beat up. These ones are your Cobensis. So again, they're an African cichlid. They're a Riverina cichlid, like the Red Forest Jewel. So you will not find them with in the lakes like the other ones. And they do like the water a lot different than what they do with the lake cichlids there as well. More endlers, more pears. I think these ones are just going to go with that generic endless these ones here. I think they're just red lime pairs as well, so they're just going to be a stock standard. For those neon blonde ones, we will move them into other places. And Java moss, nothing exciting there, even though we are pretty low on Java moss, so it is kind of exciting. Um, the aquascaping world is smashing us on Java moss every step they get. Um, and we had a red root floater as well. Oh my god, yeah. the stuff just goes out the door. Right on, what have we got, what have we got here? get these big fish out of the bag okay we got some more zingu peacock bass so we had three in a tank and i mean if i'm gonna have a tank with peacock bass in there it's gonna look full okay so three more of those ones in there and i dare say that will make that tank look a lot more full a lot more active a lot more the other three were happy enough in there but this will definitely stir up the pot dirty old barramundi so yeah good size these are um We've got those, those little baby ones in there, and oh my god, I've been feeding them like about 16 times a day because they are so small, they get so skinny so fast, you just got to keep powering food on them all the day. So that's why I don't like buying really small barramundi, but sometimes you get what you get and you don't get upset, is what I tell my kids, and they hate it. Okay, Congo Tetras. So beautiful tetra, males are the showstoppers in those ones there. Uh, females aren't too bad, but it's good to have a bit of a mixture going on there. Checker barbs. These guys look rubbish at the moment, but they do colour up very well nice in the tank and uh, look very awesome. Common plecos. Like I said, we ordered heaps of these, so we're going to have a big tank full of common plecos because uh, we don't mess around. We are Mackay's largest range of fish and reptiles. We've got heaps of reptiles at the moment as well. So yeah, so that means that we've got uh, people come here because they want to see fish. They want to see cool fish like pencil fish, which we haven't had for a long time. And I was reluctant to buy them in because they are slow sellers. But then, hey, you know, we want to have Mackay's largest range of fish. It means you've got to have every fish, whether they sell fast, like guppies and goldfish, which really didn't get too many of those, or uh, they sell slow, like pencil fish. These guys sell fast, but Congo Tetras. You know, they sell fast because they look awesome. These guys look awesome as well, but we've got a couple of dead ones in here, but they, we'll get them going straight away. They're the glass catfish in there as well. So, awesome fish, see-through, like a nice flow water in the tank, and they uh, look pretty good. These guys look cool. These are the uh, neon rummy, um, rosy barbs. Rosy barbs are really good algae eaters. They eat a lot of the filament algae, so they're good to go in, the, in your ponds because they are pretty good with the temperature we have here as well. They will survive our Mackay winters here unless we get like a, a really cold snap going through, and they will eat that long stringy algae on there as well. So, cool fish. Also, they don't get too big, so if your kid wants a goldfish and they kind of like, your tank's very small, hey, one other little golden rosy barb, neon rosy barb. Um, another tetra, starts with T, tetra. We'll find the species of those ones, I've got no idea. Uh, I know these ones, but last catfish, so more of those in there as well. You've got to have heaps of them, like otherwise people just walk past the tank and just think, oh, that one's empty, and you're like, no, there's like a hundred glass catfish in there, they're just invisible. You're like, yeah, the ultimate sales tactic, catch them with visible fish. And uh, yellow cherry shrimp, so yeah. We've got plenty of blues, and I think we've got plenty of reds at the moment, but the yellows, need no yellows. I feel that the yellows are easily the easiest one to look after there as well. Okay guys, we'll wrap it up there because we do have more fish to go. I've got more jobs to do. We've got more stuff going on and I will see you on the next video. It is all guns blazing at the moment. We have caught fish everywhere, but the last two orders have turned up. So we'll just get straight into it because we've got a hell of a lot of boxes to get through today. And uh, the day is always, as always, it's always running away from me. We'll get into it. We'll see what we got. Oh, hopefully we didn't kill anyone there. Okay. Female guppies. 
So we're trying a different supplier. These ones are from Aquarium Industries. Uh, last, last, last batch that I had didn't do too well from Bayfish, but I mean, it didn't happen with any supplier. So we will hope that they do a lot better this time here as well. These ones were the ones that I was looking for. So these are the uh, pairs of black Moscow guppies. So these would be the females, I imagine, because they will look like girls and they're kind of black. Let's hope that the males obviously live up to the potential that they want. And these ones here are just going to be assorted female baiters, which we have a very nice selection in now. I'm very happy with those as well. I don't think they were crown tails. They just, they were just standards, but they definitely didn't hold back on the colors. Normally when they get them, there's a lot of uh, reds and blues and planes and that, but pretty happy with that lot there. And another bag of female guppies. So yep, loads and loads of female guppies. All right, so we got two orders here. We do have one from Bayfish. And then we have one from Aquarium Industries, who have since have fixed up their freight have been so much better. So we will continue to buy more fish off them. Ooh, this one's a bit more of a beast. So this is Bicolor Parrot. And we did our last one there. Hopefully he's doing well. Um, these ones uh, do change. This is their juvenile colors. And so they do change color. So again, the males are very attractive, like most species are, but the female is less attractive, like some species are. <laughs> So, we'll just get into it. Okay, and then we have oh, the newspaper bags, the dreaded newspaper bags. We can't see anything in there, but we have our sailfin tang. Um, geez, there's a bit of charcoal in there or something in there. Whew, what's going on in that bag there? So, we'll get that one going. Then we have, oh, can't see anything in these newspaper bags. We have an orange line uh, angelfish. Then we have a white tail pygmy angel fish, which mm. was perfect timing because we actually sold the other one today and I didn't realize we had one when I ordered another one, but that's cool. Yeah. Okay, these ones we can see quite easy. We have Dotty Back, such a stunner, such a good looking bloody fish. Classic. Nemo's awesome, but you know, more marlin. Nemo's, yeah, he's got two proper fins on there. We all know the story with Nemo, I hope. Anyone who knows their stuff about fish have normally watched that movie, drag their kids along to watch it. Here we go, Marla number two. What was his wife's name? Coral. Coral. That's Coral. Coral. Okay, and then we have the uh, bicolor Lenny. So again, that one's juvenile colors. They will get a little bit bigger, like this one down here. And uh, that one's, and you can see those little white dashes that was maybe on the other one will fade out as they get a bit better in the tank there as well. Lenny's are cool fish. They mm -hmm. have heaps of personality in a the tank. They are very fun. They pop out of nowhere. They look around, they do scavenge on algae. I'm not gonna sit there and say, hey, this is gonna like solve your algae problems because you are the only person who can solve your algae problems. But they will definitely help you out, okay? They will lend a helping hand. Like a neighbor, nice friendly neighbor. He'll help you out, but he ain't gonna mow the lawn for you. He'll lend you the lawnmower, you know? Another dotty back on there as well, and another couple of clownfish in there as well. So obviously these ones are all juveniles on there. It's a bit of a shame. The larger ones are female, so they're a lot better when they're like that because we can obviously sex them, pair them, and make them happy. But we just get what we get, and we don't get upset. So. Not all. Let's get into this box here. Okay. Well, first off the bat, I can see the males for these black Moscow guppies, which look very cool. So this should be very interesting to have these in there. Um, for those who maybe watched the video a couple of weeks ago, I did take some endless home and they're doing really well, but they haven't bred it at all yet, but that's all right. I've got to look after my own spawn before I worry about something else's spawn. <laughs> and my spawn, they need a lot of looking after. Okay, so these ones, you're just going to be your baiters. We've got like a, a fancy selection in there as well. And then we have the average Joel, um, just your average looking fighter. Oh. They really did send us some nice looking females. Very happy. They're chunky, chunky ladies, but you know, no discrimination on the big girls, if you don't mind. And then we have some hockey stick textures or penguin textures. I call them hockey sticks. I think they look better as hockey stick. I don't know where the penguin kind of comes from there as well. I'm sure someone will correct me right in the comments. We always like to read the comments. And then we have loads of platies. So just bread and butter. Let's hope they do well. Platties there, platties there. And these ones look nice. So these are some 24K yellow or 24K gold. How can you have 24K yellow guppies, you idiot, y'all? 24K gold guppies. So all males, didn't get females, but that's all right. We, they look pretty goddamn good. I'm pretty happy with those. I wouldn't be, I mean, standing up against the green background, they're always gonna look cool. 
these ones look cool. These are our assorted elephant ears or Dumbo ear guppies. They're not really Dumbo ears. Are they Dumbo ears? They are Dumbo ears. They're Dumbo ears. They probably haven't got the biggest Dumbo ears, but they are nice looking guppies. We'll give them a, a B minus. Not terrible, but not great. You could do better, okay? I know. I see lots of goldfish. Whoa. So, some chunky, chunky ladies. Uh, see so these ones, well, I actually don't know the sex. These ones are some big old Arandas. The one there, I think they were called like rose tail Arandas. Yes, they are. So I'm gonna assume that means that their tail is very squirrely, like a rose. Um, not very Arandery, but um, still kick ass. Um, we would just probably just sell them as assorted Arandas because if they don't, our computer system goes ballistic with 10,000 names of different fish on there as well. And we've been through that process already. Oh, Ooh, urgent, yeah. get them sorted. They, they pop, pop the bag. So we'll get eyes up on there straight away. What the hell are these? Are these more roast? Oh, no. Okay, I only got two hands and this one's bloody heavy. Calico Arandas. No, Calico Ranchus. Ranchus have the non-dorsal fin on there, so that's why they get Ranchus there. And these ones are more of the roast tails. Bloody wow. good, they're bloody good looking. I mean, they're gonna make that top tank look really good, you know? Got a couple of little, little issues with the goldfish, but we're back on top of them now. They're looking A1 condition there as well, so super happy. Uh, white ranch shoes. Ooh. So they're just going to be in the assorted, I do believe, because I did get a color, a couple of different ones, like these calicos, which, Jesus, I don't know. I, wish, I know which one I'm buying. Mm -hmm. I can tell you which one costs way more. <laughs> uh, these ones did, which is a bit disappointing because, you know, that's what we, that's, that's what I get. I get when I try and buy stuff. Um, I'm not too sure what these ones are gonna be. They don't have a tag on there. So I'm assuming they might be Arandas, but they'll be pretty crappy Arandas if they are. Mm. Um, can't really mess up a ranchy, but kind of is what it is. So a couple more calicos there as well. And we are getting to the last of the Aquarium Industries order. So we'll see what... Okay, see what else we got cooking here. Gold plecos. Okay, let's get this one out of the way because, well, they look pretty awesome as well. So these are so long nose whiptail catfish. Look really cool. Unfortunately, they do get a bit of a bent nose from being in the aquarium because they do run into the glass. But quite a cool catfish to have in a larger tank. Um, very robust as well. Um, pretty tough going. So they're yeah, really cool. Now these ones, I guess I used to know them as chocolate plecos, but they came through me as gold plecos. But they are a I believe they are either a Zantic um, common pleco. Mm. So yeah, that's why they have like that coloration going on there. Mm. I think that's what they will be. Uh, but they're obviously, they're, they're pretty good. They like a, I haven't seen them for a long, long, long time. They used to be really common, you know, for us to get. Mm. So yeah, but definitely a little bit different. Um, they will get quite large and once they're quite large, they do look cool. I prefer the albinos, but oh, each yeah. their own. And uh, yeah, another couple of big whip tails. Jesus, where are these fish going? You know where the guy does these orders. It's crazy. Um, these are more of these golden plecos. I'm not too sure if you can get a better option on there. They're bloody small. I'm not a bit disappointed about the size. If I was you looking at these plecos, I wouldn't come buying yet. Let me do the hard work because they're going to need a little bit of, little bit of love. I mean, look at these. These autos are about the same size. You know? mm. uh, that's all right. We do have autos back in stock. They're really good. Don't want to sound like a winger. Okay, what have we got here? More hockey stick tetras. So great, great tetra uh, from Peru, I do believe. I should check that fact, but they're all kind of around the same area. <laughs> um, and yeah, normally looking around about four centimeters, kind of maximum type of thing there. Probably not five, probably more four. Um, schooling tetra goes well. Oh, these guys look good. Uh, mm -hmm. Peacock gudgeons. So are these, these are different than the purple spot ones. I do believe these are New Guinea. Um, I, should, I should know this, but yeah, yeah, they are New Guinea ones. Uh, yeah, beautiful fish there as well. Can get a little bit nippy, but that's okay. And this one here is a mouthful. This is a Followella catfish. So uh, this is like a, a true long nose whip tail catfish. So yeah, so definitely a lot different. They get, I've had them probably up to about 25 centimeters in the biggest one that I've kept before. Um, really cool tank. 
fish, sorry, not a tank. Really need a cool tank. We'll make your tank look really cool. Um, really cool fish. Uh, easy to, easier to look after, like the whiptails. When they're that size, they're a little bit finicky. Biggest concern you ever have is when you're cleaning out your plants. You can definitely pull the bloody things out and not actually know that it's not a stick because they go like a stick. And this is experience, and then you're just like, well, where did my catfish go? And I sold it out with a plant. So, okay, we have some blue neon guppies. So I had some requests for blues. We were getting lots of yellows and golds and everything like that. So here it is, blue, 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 blue. But we have got plenty of other colors coming through here as well. So more sunsets. How could you not buy a sunset? They're the, no, they're not the best. Those black Moscows are pretty good. I like them. Uh, but yeah, green snake skins, they're looking good there as well. Gold snake skins, looking pretty good. And we have these platinums, always looking good, super popular. And we have these leopard snake skins. We got any more guppies? We do. And then we have red snake skins. Okay. And then we have eyes are full of guppies. Very happy. <laughs> okay, uh, then we have our gold dust mini mollies, uh, cute little fish. Um, I do like the mini mollies because the standard molly can get a little bit aggressive sometimes there as well. But then when you look at these ones, these lightar ones, they look pretty awesome as well. So nice colours on there as well. Pretty happy with the quality that they've sent there. This is um, from Bayfish, so shout out to Bayfish. So we'll keep on go digging through, see what else we can find. Oh, these look cool. Awesome. So these are Capochromus azurus. So these are an African cichlid. Um, they get that azurus color, well, name for their color. It's a very deep blue. Um, see people say that the electric blue is probably the bluest. Probably it has a more vibrant blue. These guys are definitely a more darker blue, but uh, a very nice, very nice African. So we can see that one there as well. So very dark blue on there as well. So uh, I like them. Um, the females unfortunately get no color. So let's hope we got Four boys, I think we got either four hormone fed food fish or four females. I don't know, that one might be a little female, but this one here looks pretty, pretty bloody good. So yeah, very happy with those, very happy. They're pretty rare, those guys. We don't, really don't even see little ones come along that often. Okay, native fish, golden perch. Can be a little bit finicky to feed, but these guys look like they've got fat bellies and they look really good. So someone's done the hard work for us. So they should be really successful. I do believe some are for a special order, but that's all right. Uh, striped Silver Dollars or Matisses, I don't know. There's got this scientific name, what is it? Matenses, yeah, I think that might be it. So Striped Silver Dollars, um, cool fish. I haven't been around in the hobby for too long in, in Australia, maybe the last 10 years, we really started seeing it come around, but um, yeah, really good. So we also have some gold male neon guppies. Where those, did we get those 20, where are those? Let's have oh, a look, yeah. let's compare. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, the they're 24 carats, any day of the week. I mean, the gold ones are nice, but these ones are like nice, nice. So, oh, that was interesting to compare. And there's another bag of those gold neon ones there as well. <coughs> Excuse me, do you have a little bit of a case of the man flu getting around? I don't call it the man flu, I call it the child flu, because my child gave it to me. And I didn't really ask them to do it, but when they just share everything in your life, you get every illness you can get. Okay, red cherry shrimp. Uh, yeah, they always colour up a little bit better once they settle in a tank, so hopefully they colour up a little bit better and when they settle in a tank. Okay, we'll see how we go for sizes. A little bit underwhelming. I hope they're a 12 centimetre, not a 15 centimetre. So we'll have to check the invoice on those because they do look a little bit on the smaller side. Here you go, Brent. I've got some more shrimp for you. Uh, yep, there's the second bag of shrimp second there. Bag of red. It's a blue and <laughs> oh, these guys. Okay. Then we have some cute little pea puffers. I don't know if this guy's coming through in the corner. Um, don't peep that snail through the bag. Yeah, you can see those gorgeous little blue eyes, green eyes. Um, very cute little um, fish. Um, getting popular, getting cheaper, getting bigger. So they're a lot bigger than the first lots we were getting in and um, that's a lot better, you know, because they were bloody small the ones we were getting. Uh, gold Danios. If you've got like want something different in your pond, come get some Danios. They go all year round in Mackay. Um, so yeah, super easy to look after. They're an egg scatterer for their breeding, so they're pretty easy to breed if you just got lots of substrate in there and stuff like that. And uh, they will eat their own young, but so we have some redfin zebra Danios, and then we have some leopard Danios. 
So Danios do come from Asia, I do believe around India and around those areas there as well. Um, go quite well, easy to look after, great little fish. Pearl Danios. I prefer the pearls out of all of them. Um, they get these kind of barbells on there as well, which look really good. Um, it's kind of like a mix between a red and a blue colour. I wouldn't say it's red or I wouldn't say it's blue. It is definitely kind of like shimmers between the two. And then we have one cool yes. little uh, flag tail Procodinus. So these guys, uh, man, uh, the, the more we keep with them, the more they're totally undervalued, or they're not undervalued, they're bloody expensive. But mm. as they're our gear for clean up, they are just so good for it, hey. It's unbelievable how good of a job they do. So more pea puffers, we've got six of these total. So we're not really seeing much in the, in the bag there, but oh, he's blowing up. Mm. Hopefully he's all right. Well, he might have might not have made it that fella. That's a shame. There we go. Mm. And we have one last box, and then we have one last shipment. Oh, this one's gonna be pretty easy. These guys are looking a bit better size. Okay, so we have some Shabunkins, looking good. Some Shabunkins, looking Ooh. good. Some Shabunkins, looking not as good. So, you yeah. know, one, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, you know, two out of three ain't bad. And the last but not least, they're gonna be, I think they are 15 centimeters. They are, they're kind of, you know, Jesus, we must have small hands if they're measuring like that. Um, that's all right. They're, um, they'll do the job. A little bit overpriced for what they're gonna be. I'd, I'd like them a little bit bigger. But maybe I'm thinking 18 centimeters. I thought that's a that's a that's a 13 to. Uh, maybe I'm just nitpicking. Anyway, now I'm just rabbling. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Anyway, guys, one more shipment tomorrow. It's only small, and then we'll do the uh, walk around. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a little bit better than last week's one. A little bit more into it. We're going, we're going, and uh, we got heaps of cool fish. So I'll see you on the next one. We've got to get some fish ready. Righto, guys. Last one of the week check out some of the fish that we got in yesterday. Obviously these back up bass are easily started off, but the sinews, they're looking pretty fantastic. Uh, these rose tail arandas are looking beautiful in there. They got great looking, uh, just looking just overall good. They don't really have that aranda hump, so to speak, uh, but just really nice looking goldfish. The uh, black Moscows, the pears, so we've got them over here, and the 24K gold guppies, they're looking good. And also I love these little blonde and the guppies that we got in, in pairs as well. So definitely come down and get some of these. Um, we've got loads of fish. This order that we've got here is pretty small um, and we're just doing a bit of maintenance. So hopefully this tap doesn't overflow while we're doing this as well, but it's a big tank. I think we've got a little bit of time. Righto, well, let's start with the bread and butter. We'll get that out of the way because this is just fantail goldfish, nice and simple. But this one here, this oh. one's cool. So this one here, this is a super green Texas, and you can definitely see the pattern difference between like a regular Texas and compared to the super green there as well. Um, so yeah, beautiful looking fish, um, good size. Um, yeah, stunning fish there as well. So pretty happy with that one actually. That's, um, that one's exciting. But the rest of it is not very exciting. So we're gonna cut it pretty short on this one. This is just basically a load and loads and loads of common goldfish because at the end of the day, when you own an aquarium business, goldfish are generally the biggest selling fish that you have there as well. And that is one of the ones that we churn through the most there. Ponds, stuff like that, people are always looking for goldfish on there as well. So yeah, enjoy the uh, extra footage at the end there, guys. I hope you like and subscribe the video. And uh, if you want to see more content, comment below. And, uh, and if you want to see different content, uh, like me doing something else, dancing around, I don't know, just uh, comment below. See how we go. Have a good one.